Is it the end of Pokemon Go? Every time we say goodbye, I die a little. Hey guys, I'm Charlotte, welcome back to IO. If you guys wanna connect with me, follow me on Instagram. My username is written down below. So before I get into this video, I wanna know, do you guys still play Pokemon Go? Let me know if you do in your responses down below. So it's official, Pokemon Go may or may not be dead. Hmm. Reports say that Pokemon Go has lost 15 million daily active users since July. The app now has about 30 million users, which is still a lot, but people are not as crazy obsessed with it as they used to be. That being said, by some measures, Pokemon Go was one of the most popular games of all time, even with the 25% drop in usership. A further decline in users is expected as time goes by. Downloads, engagement, and the time users spend on the app have all declined. So yeah, people are still picking away at it here and there, but definitely not to the degree that they were. There was a time where everyone at IO was running outside on Poke Breaks to go to the Poke Stop. Now I don't even think any of us even have the app on our phones anymore. It's kind of sad. It's the end of an era. Now when you're talking about game apps, there's usually a steady increase when it comes to users getting involved. Candy Crush only had about 10 million downloads in 2012 and Angry Birds took 9 months to reach 20 million. But Pokemon Go had 100 million downloads in the first month alone. It's not a surprise that it's slowing down a little. Well, a lot. It's expected that only 22 million of the 100 million people who initially downloaded the app will still be playing the game by the end of August. It's safe to say that Pokemon Go was a short lived fad. Same deal for Pokemon when it first became a thing 15 years ago. Some of you guys are too young to know but it took over schools to the point where the trading cards had been banned because they were causing so many problems. But then after everyone went into junior high, no one really cared anymore, because they had hormones. Who knows though, maybe once they introduce the update and add some new features, it might enjoy a little spike in usership. But I gotta say, I knew this was coming. How annoying is it that you have to travel across the friggin' city to catch something that you haven't caught before? I'd be way more interested in the game if rare Pokemon popped up a lot more. But no, it's just drowsy after drowsy after drowsy all day long. I work a full time job. I don't have time to run around looking for Pokemon. Ain't nobody got time for that. Gyms are owned by really high level players that spend way too much time playing the game too, so there's no hope that any lower level players can take over. I don't even think I ever tried battling at a gym, did you? So, I wanna know, do you guys still play it? Are you still enjoying our coverage of Pokemon Go related stories? We'd love to know your thoughts in the comments down below. Thanks for tuning in to IO, I'm Charlotte. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Definitely check me out on my own channel, and also follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. And if you just wanna keep watching IO, there's a couple great videos floating right over here for you. Bye bye!